Today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Dice Throne Season 1. I haven't played Season 2 yet, although I do have it on my shelf back there. I got this game recently. I played a six-player learning game a few days ago and had a good time. It was a good experience for a learning game because there were plenty of time, but there was a lot of time between turns for me to kind of suss out what I was doing to learn what other players were doing. But I wanted to play it again with two players because I thought that might be um, a, a better overall experience because there's a lot less downtime, which I did that yesterday and really had a blast. Really, really enjoyed this game. There's so many cool things in this game um, that I need to do a quick summary and then I'll get to my favorite mechanism. Um, okay, so one is that I love that in a game with a fair amount of luck, so you're rolling these dice and you're you're drawing from your own custom deck of cards, um, there's still a lot of interesting decisions and even agency in the game. One of them comes from the re-rolls. So you get to re-roll the dice up to two times during your turn when you're, when you're rolling the dice. Um, there are ways to, to draw, well, all the cards are good, but you don't, you're not forced to play any of them. You can choose which ones to play. And if you are getting cards that you don't want and you wish you had more CP, which is essentially the mana of this game compared to Magic, um, there are two times in your turn where you can just discard a card to gain a CP, which you track on this little counter here. So there's always way to, ways to get more of that, uh, that mana, that, that uh, currency that you need in the game. I really, really like that. Um, I like that, uh, that there are defensive abilities. So even when it's not your turn, if someone attacks you, every player has a defensive ability. It looks like this character has uh, two different def defensive abilities. So you're still actively engaged when it's not your turn, um, but you're doing something that's much quicker and, uh, and less involved in the active player. So it's not slowing down the game all that much. Um, and perhaps most of all, although this isn't my favorite mechanism, I really love how unique all the characters are. They combine three different unique elements. One, the dice. So the dice are all custom for each character and there are different configurations. Um, I don't have an example here, but yesterday I was playing the Paladin and I was playing against uh, the Moon Lord or something like that. And my dice were configured very differently than the Moon Lord's dice. So you have the dice that are different. You have different um, built-in abilities on the player mat. These are all things that you can use your dice on. So you can choose one of them, depending on what you rolled. You can choose one of these things, these abilities on your turn to activate them. Um, you also have the different defense abilities. So you have this built-in player mat abilities. And you also have your own unique deck of cards. Not all the cards are unique, but, uh, but it is uh, pre-constructed specifically for your characters. So the backs of the cards, here's the Paladin deck I played yesterday. Um, so I love the combination of those three different aspects. Um, I do like that they're pre-constructed in that way, but I also like, uh, I could see this in other games, combining different dice with a different deck with a different player mat in random configurations for a lot of asymmetry and variability in another game. But I do like the way that this game did it in particular. And my favorite ability out of all these things is the kind of the, the superpower, the ultimate ability that they call it down here. Every character has an ultimate ability, and it's basically if you're able to roll five sixes, so like the best face of the die, I'm not matching up, this is the wrong die for this map, but this is the, the six on this die. If you're able to get all sixes, um, you get to have, you get to use your ultimate ability. This one is the Shadow Shank. Uh, gain three CP, then deal CP as damage plus five. These are super, super powerful abilities. They, they, um, they kind of feel like, uh, like in a video game or, or, or a superhero when they use their, their super, super powerful ability. Um, it doesn't happen all that often, but when it does, it feels awesome. And I love that on your turn, like on my turn, I was kind of always going for it. If I started my turn with a roll of, of three sixes, I might only re-roll the other two dice in the hopes of getting more sixes. Or I might accumulate cards in hand that let me manipulate the dice to get up there. Um, and even if you don't hit it, there are other abilities that you can use. But I like that the game actively, like the, the way this is structured, the way the other abilities are structured, uh, if you're purely going after the ultimate ability, you may be a little stuck if you don't quite roll it and have to use a much lesser ability. Like this one has Shadow Dance over here, which costs three of this, uh, this icon, whereas the ultimate ability is five of them. So if you get like four of these things, then you're not really using all your dice as effectively as you can. So it, it does give you a little push and pull here, some, some tension in the decisions you're making. Do you really push for that ultimate ability or do you give yourself more flexibility and go for other abilities that can use a different combination of dice? 
But overall, I really like how powerful it feels when you hit that ultimate ability. And I like the potential every time you roll that you might get close to it and that you need to decide. You have a tough decision. Do I keep going for it or do, do I go for something else? I really, really love that aspect of this game. That's my favorite mechanism in Dice Throne Season 1. I can't wait to play more characters. Usually one-on-one, -on -one, I might go uh, 2v2. It's a team game if you have more than more than two players. Um, I would, I probably wouldn't go five or six again. That, that was too many, six players. Um, but I would go one-on-one uh, -on -one or, or two-on-two -two again. Um, but I can't wait to play other characters. I'd love to hear, if you play Dice Throne, I'd love to hear your favorite character in the game. If you have a different favorite mechanism or the same one, feel free to reiterate and, and share that in the comments. Or if you have a favorite game where it has like this ultimate ability type thing where you can really push for it, you can build up to it maybe um, and use it once, maybe once or twice the entire game, but it feels awesome when you do. I'd love to hear about your, your thoughts in the comments about other games that do that. Thanks.